Hi, this is Josh, Dream Body Clinic, and today I did an IV of Muse cells. So Muse cells have gotten a lot of attention lately because quite a few celebrities have been doing them. You've heard some different stuff about them, but you probably don't know what they are, so let's just get into it. A Muse cell is a pluripotent stem cell, meaning it's exactly what you think of when you think of a stem cell. It can turn into whatever cell is needed. So these will go through your system, find damaged cells, and then they essentially eat those damaged cells or debris and then differentiate into the cell type that should have been there. So if you had a heart attack, they'll go to your heart, eat the heart cells that are bad or damaged, and then turn into new myocardial cells, new heart cells. So they can do this with any tissue in your body. And the best administration process is via an IV. I've got some videos up of Dr. Dasawa. She's a professor from Japan that discovered these in 2010. We had her at our clinic a few weeks ago. She did a whole presentation, explained it all. We got some great video clips with her that you can see. And we are working directly with her to offer her Dasala Muse cells. So we do have these now. So you're gonna see me get the drip. It's a really simple IV. Just put an arm and the difference is here, we push it straight. So there's a catheter, we inject them straight. They get right into the system while we hang a bag of saline that slowly drips just to keep you hydrated, then we put some vitamins in. So these can help a lot of different things. If you look at the new website at www.dbcmucells.com, you'll see that uh, they're helping with heart recovery. They're helping with pancreas diseases like type one and type two diabetes, pancreatitis. Our head doctor has had that for a long time. He did an IV of these a few weeks ago and his pancreas is looking perfect according to new scans, incredible. Um, liver health, kidney health, and brain diseases. So they can help organs, they can help the brain. I'm really excited because they seem to be able to help ALS, at least in mouse models. My dad had ALS and Lou Gehrig's disease, horrible. Basically get trapped in your own body, passed from it, he did, and it's, it's a tough one to watch. So also Parkinson's. My dad's dad, my grandpa on that side, had Parkinson's passed from it. My grandma on my mom's side had it passed. So for me, this is great. This is preventative. I'm staying ahead of it. Make sure my brain's working perfect and I'm feeling good. And these will target inflammation through my body and turn into good cells, replace the bad cells. Uh, it's kind of the dream we've all been hoping for. Now this is experimental. This is something we just started. We do not know how well these are going to work. So we treated myself yesterday, as you'll see in this video, we treated one other patient, a uh, returning patient who had done mesenchymal stem cells in the past. Uh, my daughter did it also for a herniated disc, which there's also studies showing that can help herniated discs. And yeah, and uh, our head doctor's done them, my wife's done them, and more patients are already like signing up to do it. So we'll keep you updated on data, what they are, what they do. They are found within mesenchymal stem cells. Basically you stress the MSCs, low oxygen environment until they die, and then you're left with the muse cells. We can now isolate and replicate those to give you pure muse cells, and they act like muse cells. They act like a stem cell, the way we'd always hoped, and now, they're beneficial, they're non-tumorgenic. There's no cancer risk with these. There's no you know, risk of rejection. They don't exhibit HLA, just like mesenchymal stem cells. So all of the big concerns that were with embryonic stem cells, which are the ones from aborted babies, dead babies, you have none of those concerns. These are completely ethical. They're from live healthy births from the placenta and umbilical cord tissue. The mesenchymal stem cells are considered adult stem cells. The mu cells are from those, so they're also considered adult stem cells. And so you don't have any of the, the downsides. You know, side effect wise, all we've seen is that uh, my, my daughter and Dr. Barb, our head doctor, both got a bit of a headache from it. I did them yesterday. I feel perfect. I feel great. Zero side effects. And I'll keep you updated how it goes. My knees were feeling a little weird. I don't know if I'd say pain, but felt like something was going on there. So maybe they were fixing some damage. I'm not sure. We'll find out in the future, but uh, they get to work a lot quicker than MSCs. Usually within you know 24 to 72 hours, they're getting to the damaged site and they're eating the bad tissue and turning into new. So much quicker results with these. We're told to expect results usually within like, say like one to three months, where MSCs we were looking three to six months. So we'll know sooner with these, they tend to work faster, better results. And we're excited for it. You know, we're always trying to push the limits, find out what's next, but we have to be careful too. And that's why we're saying these are experimental, you know, do at your own risk, 
We've technically been administering them for over eight years because they're found within the senchymal stem cells, but now they're pure isolated, just them. And luckily I've been doing tons of studies on these in Japan. They've never had any like major, you know, side effects, issues, no cancer, no rejection. So they seem to be safe. We're offering them now and you can learn more and see prices, info, everything at www.dbcmucells.com. I'm Josh. Happy to help. Today, I'm getting Muse cells, multi lineage differentiating stressed induced stem cells. So, our new website for this is www.dbcmusecells.com. You can take a look there, it'll have all the info. We're working with Dr. Desawa. She discovered these back in 2010. They're found within mesenchymal stem cells, but if we put enough stress, meaning we lower the oxygen rates low enough with mesenchymal stem cells, they die and the mu cells are left over. So they're very hardy cells. They don't get stuck in the lungs the way mesenchymal stem cells do. They don't get stuck crossing the blood brain barrier and they go through your body. They find damage and inflammation, just like mesenchymal stem cells. But when they get there, they act like a macrophage. They start eating the damaged tissue and then they differentiate into that cell type. So they are a true pluripotent stem cell. And what that means, they're exactly what you think a stem cell should be they turn into the cells that you want them to. So that's what they are. I'm about to get an IV of 20 million mu cells. Stay tuned. Can I see? Okay, cool. So with these, Normally with the MSCs, we'd go into the saline. With these, it's a direct push of all 20 million straight to, but we have the IV here just to make sure it's, there's enough hydration for the vein. But these mu cells are gonna go straight into my vein. We're not dripping them through the saline. And then once this is done, we can add some vitamins to the drip and get those going after. Things like NAD+, CoQ10, vitamin C, you know, bricks to help build the house, but these stem cells actually can become the tissues needed to repair. So they're gonna travel through my whole body looking for inflammation, damage, get where they need and eat the bad cells and turn into good cells. Boom, there we go.